from the satellite data all the way through to digging a hole in the ground to testing a sample in the in the laboratory and you kind of you've got all of that information and you're kind of putting together into a story it's like a detective our job is to kind of pull all these bits of evidence together Okay, so Peter from Palmerston North asked the question, is it true that all of Tai Happy is on a big landslide? Hmm, yes, that's an interesting one. Um, a large portion of Tai Happy is on a, is on a landslide. Um, it affects maybe 30, 40 homes, so it's not a, not a huge amount. Um, but the landslide is not the kind of landslide that, that suddenly disappears off down a slope. It's a slow moving landslide that you know, kind of moves almost as, as rapidly as your fingernails grow. And so over time, the, the movement builds to, to kind of magnitudes and amounts that we can measure. But over most of the time, it, it's not moving. It just sits there, they're doing nothing. So the, another, another kind of way of looking at it is that, is there a risk to people? Not really. I mean, we did a whole lot of work on Thai Happy years ago and we came to the, the conclusion that it's unlikely to, to fail rapidly as one big landslide. However, we did think it would continue to move in future kind of really long periods of wet weather or if there was big rainstorm and flooding like the 2004 Manawa 2 floods um, that would erode the the, the bottom of the landslide and therefore allow the landslide mass to move into the into the street. So thank you Peter for that question. I'm sorry it was a bit long but it's a complicated landslide. <laughs> <laughs>